Welcome back, bookworms. This is Mrs. K. I'm glad you could join me. Rudy the Rutabaga is back, and this time he's watching a bunch of broccoli practice strange movements in the garden. When he finds out they're doing kung fu, he wants to do it too. When he asks if he can join in, he's mighty confused when they ask him if he's ready. Let's enjoy the magic of reading as we read together. Rudy the Rutabaga, The Meaning of Kung Fu. Written by Stephen Megson and illustrated by Andy Yura. And let's see if Rudy ever gets to join the broccoli. Deep in the furthest corner of the yard, the colorful vegetable garden was enjoying another warm and sunny day. Rudy the rutabaga was sitting on a small hill watching a group of broccoli practicing Tai Chi. This particular group of broccoli gathered in the same spot at the same time every day. Rudy found himself sitting and watching the broccoli more and more often until finally, one day, he approached them. Excuse me, I'm Rudy, and I'm kind of new in this part of the garden. I've been watching you for a while and have been wondering, what are you doing? The group of broccoli turned to Rudy and the eldest one replied, Well, we are doing Kung Fu, of course. Hmm, I wonder how many of you do martial arts. Kung Fu, pondered Rudy, fascinated. I've heard of that. That's like martial arts, right? Do you think I could do Kung Fu too? Well, son, that is entirely up to you, grinned the broccoli. Are you sure you are ready? Um, well, I think so, said Rudy. Then a brilliant idea came to him. Stay right here. I'll be right back. Rudy ran home and not too long after returned to the group of broccoli, but this time he looked a little different. Rudy was wearing a homemade outfit complete with headband and a matching belt. I'm ready to do Kung Fu now, declared Rudy. The head broccoli looked over at the rutabaga and laughed. I'm sorry, Rudy, but that outfit does not make you ready to do Kung Fu. Rudy's head hung low. He could not understand why the broccoli thought he wasn't ready. As Rudy sat thinking, his two friends, the Peppers, passed by and noticed him looking sad. What's the matter, Rudy? asked the Yellow Pepper. Well, I wanted to do Kung Fu with that group of broccoli over there, but they told me that wearing this outfit does not make me ready, cried Rudy. Hmm. It is a cool outfit, said the red pepper, but everyone knows that you need to be really strong to do Kung Fu. Really? asked Rudy. That explains it. I'll lift some heavy branches and get very strong, and then I'll be ready. They'll see, exclaimed Rudy. Rudy went home and lifted the heaviest branch he could find over and over again until he was exhausted. The next day, Rudy returned to the group of broccoli in the same spot as always. Rudy approached the broccoli, flexed his arms, and proclaimed, I'm super strong now. I'm definitely ready to do kung fu. The broccoli again stopped, looked over at Rudy, and laughed. Young Rudy, you indeed look very strong, but this does not make you ready to do Kung Fu. Rudy stomped away, disappointed and rather upset. He could not understand what he could have overlooked. A tomato, head of lettuce, and carrot were playing in a clearing, so Rudy approached them. I don't understand, 
Rudy shouted angrily as tears started to form in his eyes. I made this outfit and got super strong, but the broccoli tell me that I am still not ready to do kung fu. It's hopeless. I'll never be ready. Oh, and that's shame he's so sad. Well, Rudy, maybe you're just not fast enough. You have to be very fast to do kung fu, said the tomato. Do you think you can help me get faster? asked Rudy, wiping tears from his eyes. Sure thing. Join our game of tag and you'll definitely get faster, gushed the tomato. Rudy spent the rest of the day chasing the vegetables around the garden. He became so quick that by the end of the day, he could catch each vegetable with no problem at all. Rudy went to bed that night very proud of himself, looking forward to confronting the broccoli once again. The next day, Rudy got ready and sped over to the group of broccoli. Rudy took a second to catch his breath and then finally announced, I'm the fastest vegetable in the garden. There's no way that I'm not ready to do kung fu now. The broccoli looked at Rudy and each one shook their head with a smirk. The eldest broccoli put his hand on Rudy's shoulder and said, Rudy, this might be hard to understand, but Kung Fu is not about how fast you are. It's not about how strong you are. And it is definitely not about what you wear. Kung Fu is about time and patience. It can be anything you achieve through hard work, and practice. It doesn't even have to be martial arts. That's interesting. Rudy thought for a moment, then smiled. So you mean to say that I've been doing Kung Fu all along? I practiced lifting branches and playing tag, which was hard work. And now I'm stronger and faster. The broccoli smiled and nodded. Yes, Rudy. Rudy walked away from the group of broccoli that afternoon, feeling triumphant for the first time. He learned the importance of working hard in life at whatever you put your mind to. enjoyed this story, please check it out at your local library or buy a copy from your favorite bookstore.